In this video, we're doing average rate of change versus instantaneous rate of change using a table. And let's review what each of those are. Average rate of change is slope at two points, which is simply our slope formula from algebra 1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, instantaneous rate of change is slope at one point. So that would be the slope of the tangent line versus the slope at the secant line. So instantaneous rate of change would be derivative followed by plugging in your x value. So on a picture, we would be talking about the slope of the secant line, maybe the average rate of change from A to B would be slope of the secant line, notice two points, as compared to the slope of the tangent line, which would be only at one point. And obviously the slope of the tangent line is far more meaningful for uh, what's happening at any given moment. So let's take a look at an example of this table, uh, which is in hours and liters per hour. And in example one, it says, using the table, find the average rate of change from zero to eight. So again, that's going to be slope at two points. And we're going to be using the point 0, 1340 and 8, 700. Now, uh, if we go ahead and set up our slope, we would have 700 minus 1340 over 8 minus 0. So 700 minus 1340 would be negative 640. 8 minus 0 would be 8. Um, now, AP doesn't make you reduce, but this is a fairly easy one to reduce. So that would be negative 80. And since the original table was in liters per hour, and we just found a slope, that would be liters per hour per hour, or per hour squared. Uh, let's look at example two. Using the table, find the average rate of change from six to eight. Well, now we're going to be using six comma 740 and eight comma 700. So again, our slope would be 700 minus 740 over eight minus six. That would be negative 40 over two or negative 20 liters per hour per hour. Now we've got the full-blown part of this problem, and this is actually an FRQ that I stole from somewhere. Anyway, uh, now we've got some words involved, and let's not freak out too much at the words, because we're only taking a look at part A. So take a moment and read this, and then we'll begin. Thank you for reading that. I hope you paused. Um, in part A, we want to estimate r prime of 2, so that would be the slope at 2. Notice it's the slope at a single point, so we're talking about instantaneous rate of change. So we go up to the table and we're looking for t is 2. Well, t is 2 is not in the table, but t is 2 is between 1 and 3. So the best we can do with a table, if the value is not there, is to go ahead and do the slope with two points. So that would be 950 minus 1190 over 3 minus 1. That would give us negative 240 divided by 2, or negative 120. And again, given that this is a slope, that would be liters per hour per hour, or per hour squared. So this is a very typical instantaneous rate of change. Uh, notice it says, show the work that leads to your answer. Um, now we did set this up. Sometimes what we'll see in AP is we'll see them set it up 
slightly different. They'll still have the 3 minus 1 on the bottom, but they might have r of 3 minus r of 1. So you might want to get into the habit of using that function notation. Uh, it might be valuable for you.